The Daddy Patisserie is not just a business, but a dream come true for owners James Cox and Ryan Abasco. Their menu features everything from cookies and cakes to bread. Yeah, they're joining us now from our Studio 41 kitchen to tell us all about it. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank Thanks you. for having us. And congratulations on the opening. Thank, thank you. you. So you say it's a passion. Explain that for us. Um, so for me, it's been a passion since I was a kid and I took a tour of the Palms Casino in uh, Las Vegas where what are you I, wait first of all you're a kid in a casino yeah because um, yeah, I was in culinary school and we took a tour of the kitchen to see how the productions were all done that makes sense and by doing that then I was able to see the pastry set up and the lines and all that that they had there and that's where I ended up falling in love with the pastry aspect of everything and then the culinary has been in my blood since I can remember so fun. Okay, what are you going to be making for us today? Uh, today I'll be making a white chocolate ube pina, uh, pot de creme um, mm. for you guys today. Okay. All right. I don't even know what that is, so uh, explain. It sounds, it sounds um, uh, a pot de creme is basically a really fancier version of a pudding, um, usually made with egg yolks to help set it. So think of like, you know, those little pudding packets that you get as a kid? Yeah. Just think of one of those, but more creamy and more Ooh. elegant. Okay, okay. fantastic. Right. A purple color, I love that. Yes, I and it's purple. <laughs> and Ryan, how do you and James uh, get together? So James and I actually met through a common friend. Um, so and then we kind of talk about you know our background in terms of baking. I really don't bake to be honest, 100 percent. But what I do is on um, with the business, I do the business side of things. Mm. So more on like the operations and all that. Um, with uh, with my parents having their own bakery back in the Philippines before, um, I remember like 4 a.m. I really wake up to the aroma of the pandesal. Okay. Um, that was that, that's what actually kind of connected me with James as well. So uh, two years after friendship, definitely you know this is uh, this is where we are. So it's not just again it's it's not just a dream come true for me and James, but also a dream come true for my parents. Too. That's awesome. All right, James, what are you doing now to get started? Um, so what we did was we went ahead and bloomed our gelatin um, in some cold water, and what we're working on now is we're bringing our heavy cream to a boil, okay. and then. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in our gelatin and then bring that pot back to a boil and pour that over the white chocolate to give us a ganache. Um, and it's really a key thing to bring the gelatin to a boil because you need the boil to activate the gelatin because if you don't boil it, then the gelatin won't get activated. Okay. Then once we get that all set, we'll temper in our egg yolks and our ube puree and our ube extract. Okay. okay. What is ube? Yeah. All right. Let me quickly explain <laughs> Yeah, so. let's, let's, let's do this. James, you keep working. I will. Okay, okay. okay. and then Ryan, you explain what ube is. Yeah, so ube is basically, I would say, it's a sweet purple yam. Um, it is typically, so the way it works is that um, it is a sort of like a dessert for Filipinos, um, basically made specifically uh, during special holidays like Christmas, New Year's Eve, even birthdays and all that. Um, really, uh, it, it's 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 a hit, not just in the Philippines, but now here in America as well. Okay. Yeah, so. and we should we should tell folks. So, Sugar Daddy, where the name came from? Because I'm a big fan. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, how it started is that it started as a joke, wherein James typically brings in a lot of sweets during um, gatherings, friends, parties, birthdays, and all that. So the joke was like. Um, well, you are our technically sugar daddy. <laughs> so that's where it come from. So from there, I was like, well, you know what? That's actually a good name for a business. Yeah. It, it's very <laughs> catchy and all that. Um, and the name of our, let's say, cupcakes, um, even some of our other uh, products, um, we make it as fun as possible. Um, one of the cupcakes that we actually offer in store is what we call the Yes Daddy. It is made <laughs> of a um, banana cake with peanut butter in the middle and then light chocolate frosting. Ooh. Oh, so I saw sweet treats and drag queens? 
<laughs> yes. So that's what we actually did on our grand opening. Our grand opening was actually last Saturday. Oh, no, um, the the 9th, October 9th. Um, so what we did was to invite local local drag queens and some of our closest friends to celebrate with us. Um, so far, it has been very busy. Yeah. And a lot of people were like very curious on like what's happening in store and all that. So it really helped us, you know, elevate the brand or the name of uh, the bakery. All right. So well, we're trying this. We, we're trying because yes. we've got the uh, finished product over here. Yeah. So that's actually that's the um, what we call ube halaya. That's the traditional Filipino favorite. Wait a minute. Mm. Is, is there anything in this, or is this just the yam? No. So there is. Uh, there is um, coconut milk in mm. there. You also mm. have brown sugar. Mm. You also have um, con sweet and condensed milk. Oh yeah, it's and delicious. It's yeah, and thick, vanilla. But it's not super sweet, so no. I like that. Exactly. For us. Um, at Chicago Sugar Daddy, we don't make like, uh, yes, we are a dessert shop as well and bakery, but we don't make a lot of sugar. We don't put a lot of sugar in it. James and I believe like the sugar um, kind of overpowers everything else. At the same time, with Uba specifically, that's a very tricky um, ingredient because it's either it's going to um, taste like pure sugar mm -hmm. if you put too much of the sugar, or it would taste like very bland. Oh, so yeah. you have to really find uh, the right balance to it. All right, he's finishing up there. We've got uh, the, the, the finished ones on the front. We want to get you all the information for Chicago Sugar Daddy on North Broadway. You can see their Instagram, Facebook handles there and the website as well. Guys, thanks so much for being here. This has been really fun. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. This has been really delicious. This is good. <laughs>